Nintendo Superhero, and welcome back to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. And today we're going to be continuing on by, of course, continuing on with World 3. And what are we looking at? Ooh, a brambled pipe. Whoever this belonged to must have left in a hurry. An ominous sign. Is that not a brambled pipe? You're acting like it's an object of some sort. Oh, you know what? It's actually one of those spiked little rollers that can roll around in certain levels. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong about that. Uh, ooh, this is a spooky pipe. I like that one. Um, let's go down this way. And it looks like there is this right here. A mini game. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and tackle this. Uh, my main goal today will be trying to, of course, get to the mini boss. Not the mini boss, but the mid boss. Okay, so we have this statue. I think we need to pick up the statue and fill all this up, and then do that. Go over here, and, and then go like this. Yup, yup, yup and then pick it up again. Oh, okay, yeah, this wasn't too bad at all. Yay! <laughs> so we got that, and we get ourselves a brand new weapon. I love how these always basically just guarantee you a new weapon. So they're always worth completing, even if it takes a couple tries, because we get the crosshead orb for Rabbit Luigi. Put the screws to enemy combatants with this harmful hardware. So, in the last episode, a lot of you guys let me know down below that, um, there is, I mean, if one of us said there is, a lot of you let me know that your thoughts are that Rabbit Luigi is actually pretty overpowered if I get him leveled up correctly. So I'm gonna be trying to focus on that now and that I should probably stop focusing on just weapons that have honey, even though I really like honey. Some of you were really upset about that. I don't know, it's just what I liked, but it's okay. We'll try to make it better. So there is definitely some crazy stuff going on here. Don't know exactly how I do this. Okay, well, there is a pipe this way. Let's see what wood this brings me to. Because this looks like another puzzle where I can't proceed unless I figure it out. Or maybe not. Oh, I can't go through here just yet. So it looks like I really do indeed have to figure it out. So I have a statue here. And I guess I can bring this through the pipe, right? I can. So let's go back this way. And, oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I can put it just right here. <laughs> it's clear as day. You know, just like the sun, which is what that symbol was. Okay, so what can we do from up here? Oh, I see. If we go back down, we can maneuver the blue one to be more level with where we are at that moment. And then we can level the green one. That way we can just walk across. Ah, I understand, I see, okay. So that one's either floor level or not floor level, so I'll put it there for now. Uh, let's get back up here. Get across to here, and we have a few options at this point. We can either go through the pipe and just make this area available, but I don't really see the perk in that. I mean, maybe there is a perk in that, we'll find out. But for right now, let's get up here and sort of scout out what can we do. I don't know what this is, this is a weird little hay hut. But if we could raise the blue one and the red one, we could get across to there. Okay, I think I see. So I can go like that, go like this, and then I'm gonna walk all the way around. There's a lot you can do here. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I, I definitely see what we've got going on here. So I need to raise that, I need to raise this. Yep, they are now equal, which is good. That's what I wanted to see. Equality, get up here. And there we go, I think that's it. Doesn't look like there's any extra secrets. That was just a mandatory secret, no uh, prize at the end of it. But hey, that's fine. Sometimes the prize is progression. Being a little bit farther than what we were before. That sounds like plenty of a prize to me. Look at these two guys. Someone needs to get those poor rabbits a ginger lo lozenge or a lemon wedge or something. Yeah, they're looking a little sick. I mean, why don't they just hop off? I mean, that's sort of the thing. Oh, I like how Beepo has a little light. That is so cute. He's just, he's always prepared for every situation. Unfortunately, it's raining and he don't have an umbrella, so maybe he isn't prepared for every situation. But hey, we're going into world three, four, which is Madame Boistrella. Okay, Madame Boistrella, what you got for me? Uh, this is confusing. So it looks like we have some kind of light-based puzzle here. So I can raise the mirrors, I presume. And my goal is to light up those two light bulbs that aren't light up, or lit up. So there, like if I raise that one, that one straight up just gets that done. So wouldn't I wanna just raise the yellow one now? And wouldn't that solve the puzzle? Oh, it would not, because it'll block that one off. Ah, okay. So is there any way we can solve this differently? Well, of course, there always is. Um, if I, oh, I can't do that. Cause I was gonna say maybe if I lowered the blue one so that the middle one 
can hit the mid left middle mirror, but then it would have to hit the blue one, so I can't do that. Um, hmm. These are always cool puzzles, but the other thing is that we can only have two raised at any given point in time. So the answer might be a little more obvious than we think just because we can only have two of them. So it's definitely not the green one because the green one's gonna cut these two off guarantee. So we can actually just rule out the green one entirely. Interesting. Now, how will the red one get affected by things? If we uh, put this over here like this. Yep, one more, there you go. Oh, okay, that solved it. <laughs> Blue and red, I was actually still testing things out, but I guess the mirrors are double-sided, which means they can bounce off multiple things. I actually didn't factor that in, and that could actually make it much more complicated. I mean, I think there are a couple games like that are just based off of, you know, reflecting lights off of mirrors, but oh, I didn't even realize we walked to a battle. We need to reach the other end of the area, and I'll do my best. I will do my absolute best to get to the other end of the area, which is way down here, this is like a complete zigzag. I don't know why, because, I don't know why, <laughs> but not because. This reminds me of one of the Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart levels where you're on the boardwalk and it's all squiggly and stuff. Let's go ahead and prepare for battle. First off, let's check out who we have on the field. We finally run into our first Spooky Smasher and he does look spooky, he has a big old coffin on his back. He's not coughing about it though. Uh, we got a Spooky Supporter. Over here we have some Ziggies. A Ziggy, and another Ziggy. And then what's going on down here? Not too much, right? Yeah, so this third area, and if we could find a way to get over here, and that'd be good. But we're gonna go to our Battle HQ now, and check out, we have 2,000 coins. And once again, our focus should be to upgrade Rabbit Luigi as much as possible. Now, we're upgrading from vamp damage to stone damage, that's sort of the thing. Rabbit Luigi already has vamp damage. Is doubling up on vamp damage really all that good? I don't know, let's go ahead and do this because he also gets extra damage against Ziggy's and that might be potentially awesome. So now we only have 1,500 coins, we wanna spend those properly. The thing is, this Rabbit Luigi right now is so far behind, I wanna get him something good. So let's go ahead and, ooh. So that's a little less damage, but it does do extra damage against Hoppers. I don't, it's still not worth that damage, like less damage. We'll do push, we'll do push. I just don't like fire, personally, even though I, I'll try not to just do honey every single time, I really don't like burn, because burn is unpredictable and might end up putting them in a position that just doesn't benefit me, and I don't like that chance. And then soon enough, uh, what, what else should we look into upgrading? Uh, if we're only playing Mario and Peach and stuff, uh, we can't really upgrade this thing there, and we actually can't upgrade this either. Well, this is good against Valkyries, which we still haven't run into our first Valkyrie. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, there actually isn't too much I can do to, uh, that'll actually get me a proper damage upgrade right now. Just, you know, upgrades based on the skills and the active chance. So we'll focus on that eventually, but for now, I wanna go ahead and boost his stomp damage because 150 is a lot. That will now take care of a Ziggy in one stomp because I think the Ziggies have 110 health or maybe they have 150. But even then, if they have 150, boom, this will instantly take them out. So that was worth it, in my opinion. If we go to Rabbit Luigi now, uh, what can we do here? Rabbit Luigi's Vamp Dash can gain, drain more health points. A lot of people were telling me I should focus all in on that. I was thinking that maybe I could go ahead and do 110 damage per dash, because right now he has two dashes. So that could be uh, 220 damage a turn right there without even using a weapon. But we haven't upgraded this at all. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad too, because as, as soon as I finish, like that'll be the next thing, because it only costs 30. So next thing, we'll be doing that. All right, now if we go to Peach, what we were focusing on her, I think, was just getting this heal percent up, because it's such a good thing to have. Or we could just give her more health, because that wouldn't be too bad. What, which, which one's more expensive? This is more expensive, so maybe we'll save up for this, and then we'll go ahead and up her health, make her more of a tank than she already is. That's our team set up as good as we can get it for right now. I think that we should get started. Now we could do something with Luigi where he does a double character jump and that might get us really ahead, but usually after that, that's when things get tough. So we got the two smashes up here and I'm going to assume if we go back to Tacticam, this guy can't reach turn one or, okay, so we can't even reach this pipe, but this guy, uh, it looks like he can't reach this pipe either turn one, but I'm gonna very much so assume that if they don't come this way by turn two, they're just gonna come this way. So we need to be able to get some of the characters over here, I think honestly that's our best bet. Like have, hmm. 
We're gonna have to have one character hang back, of course, which will be the toughest part. But it's definitely uh, possible. Trying to think of things as strategically as possible, I think that since Peach has the biggest amount of health, she should, she should still be the one that's hanging back here by turn three. So while, hmm, how do I wanna do that then? I think I'll just have, because once again, the Smasher's over here and shouldn't be that big of a deal. And I mean, they're gonna be checking over bombs no matter what, so we really should just have, I guess we'll have Rabbit Luigi move over. I wanted him to be the one who bounces over, but, but position-wise, I think this is the best thing we can do. So we could, so I have 115 health. But I don't even know, maybe we can't even make that jump. Oh, well, I'm not gonna be able to find out this turn, won't I? So I actually already didn't make a good decision here. What if I did have, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> That's why I wish I had Luigi right now. I mean, maybe we should be focusing on attacking Smashers. I just don't know if that's entirely a good idea and I'm not gonna activate that. I think we should instead be focusing on damaging supporters and the like, supporters and ziggies and such. Like right here, this isn't the best place I would rather land here, but I can't. Okay, so I think that definitely I need for, now that I've upgraded Mario with his bounce, I think I need to focus on giving him more distance. I think that would be maybe the best thing I could do. So I can attack him and I can't attack anybody else with this. And the same thing with this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for her because you know, what, what does she really have to lose? So boom, we'll chuck that on over there. Not only that, but it might even eliminate her protection a little bit, which is good. She, it gets critical, so that's nice. Maybe we should activate this, because one of these two are gonna get hit. <laughs> like that just feels like an inevitability. Uh, has Mario moved? Yeah, yeah, he moved, I made him move like an inch. So Mario can't hit anybody from here, which is fine. We could have you use this and then hold on for a little bit, because like this is a 50% chance. But this, of course, is not. So let's go ahead and just give that a shot. Because it'll definitely get rid of him, which is nice. And I like that a lot. So we'll finish off the turn with that, because really, what other opportunities do we have right now? And that's a Ziggy making his way a little closer, basically taking the spot of the other Ziggy. It's just a question, can I make this team jump over to the other side? I might not even be able to, but I just don't know right now. So this Ziggy's just trying to get a little closer, ain't doing too much, so there's no peekaboos this turn yet. That is sort of the thing, is that by next time, I mean by next time, I mean at any point, there could be more characters popping out of the ground. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, those ice blocks aren't fun. Okay, so let's just go ahead and taste test this really quickly. Can Mario, he can't make that jump. I won't deny that certainly complicates things. Where could we get? Cause here's the thing, he's this bad boy right here, he's gonna hop up here and he's definitely gonna make us feel the wrath. I don't know, the maybe we should just bring the fight to them? Like would that be the smarter idea? I mean I could go down here and slide attack him, but then obviously I'm gonna be sort of stuck in a hard place there. And I think maybe it's better just to play a game of keep away. It's gonna be tough no matter what. Like I really don't know. Hmm, I could if I do this, I'll power boost everybody but Peach, and I'm not a big fan of that. Hmm. Then maybe I could just get her here. She'd heal herself, which is pretty good, and maybe we just need to remove a Smasher or two to really make things a little more viable for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready for her, but I'm not gonna quite use it just yet. I'm gonna first get Mario's available as well, and this should be able to get rid of a Smasher, I think. Um. Oh, that's right though, but I can't both power boost him and do that. Well, this will still do plenty damage. Boom. That's gonna do 147. He's gonna get mad. He's gonna go through this pipe and then Peach can blast this dude, ready? Bada bing, bada boom, 118 damage and Mario's like, yo, I'll help out, boom! Critical too. That's gonna bounce him out of here and that should be taking him out. Yeah, and he just sort of metastasized on the other side. So we can't attack anybody like that. Luigi though, Rabbit Luigi could, he doesn't have enough movement right now to really get anything done though. It's the hard part. Hmm. Well, I could get him down here. The supporters are definitely gonna be tough here. But I could lower his, I can weaken him. I can make immunity to super effects. So let's try that out. Like maybe that'll be good. Maybe we'll get lucky with that and it would have been a super effect, but now it won't be. And then maybe we should just finish with that and hopefully the Smasher will never mind us. 
this Ziggy over here is gonna move and he should probably have a clear shot at somebody. No, actually, interesting. I wanna speed this up. We know the ins and outs of this game. That guy might blast us because I will most certainly forget about it. He didn't move too much at all. Okay, that does actually open up some opportunities. Wow, if you if you say so, game, if you say so. Um, So we could do that. And that way, oh, look at how much damage that does. That's insane. Um. And then I'm gonna have him like hang out over here, a little bit closer. Yeah, but it should still be good. Oh no, I forgot about him. But I'm vampiring, so I should be fine. Vampire, he should be back to full. Wow, plus 66 health there, he is back to full. So really, I want Peach. I guess it might be much smarter to take this uh lower path here. We're gonna have Peach go down here. Because we just, like, we can't have the opportunity of having bonus damage, which stinks, but I think we can make that trade by, of course, just dealing with other enemies. And then I'll land, like, here. Of course, a pipe protection isn't always the best protection, but it's something. So, boom, get a full 150 right there. That's so much damage is insane. Okay, so I could either, I could actually hammer this guy and take him out. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I don't want to use my damage boost in unless I really, really need it, because it'll be gone for a little while once I do. Um, I could actually, yeah, let's just finish him off then. Boom, perfect, and that was actually a critical, so I probably could have gotten away with using that right away, but let's go just move on to the enemy turn. Things aren't looking so bad right now, but what I'm a little more worried about is when other enemies start spawning in. What if the game just throws me three more smashers after this? That's when things are gonna get a little bit more rough, I think, but hey. I can't worry about it, I can't dwell about it too much right now. All I can really do is make all the players advance some more. So let's get you about here. This should at least heal Mario, right? I think Mario was a little low on health. If not, he's gonna be good now. Okay, Peach was the only one that was really taking too much. So I could uh, do this, do that, and then uh, I could land there, but it just doesn't give me too many options besides just getting hit in the face. So this will be an instant takeout for this Ziggy, which I really appreciate. That is an awful camera angle. Um, and then maybe we could get Rabbit Luigi up here. Maybe Rabbit Luigi should be the forefront guy. I'm just trying to find out. No matter where I am right now, I can't really hit him unless I use my bazooka, and I definitely will be. It won't do a ton of damage. I definitely think that the bazooka is the next thing we should uh, be upgrading. And if I did this, it wouldn't even hit anybody in range. So let's just do this. Maybe we can even get a lucky crit in there, but I doubt it. 60 damage, okay, and he has a little less protection for next time. So let's finish the turn off with that, because really, what more can we do? But the strategy is coming out here. Now my biggest worry, to be honest with you, is that we're not gonna be able to do this in the right amount of turns, because there really aren't too many enemies, so we just need to hope that not too many of them spawn in, but there goes, I think that was a peekaboo. No, I'm not finishing the turn. Like if I got Peach up here and bounce off of him, I still, still can't get over there. Like how, what, what is the best way to even get over there? I guess going like that. So as her, I should probably get around here. And then, oh, that's still a pretty large jump. The problem is that can Mario run out that far? Just barely, I need to pay attention to that more. It's just so much, so difficult to do that. So Mario can get started there. And, and then, oh, you know what? Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it, see if I can. And then can you, you can't even make your way to the, oh, that stinks. Maybe from here though? Nah, we can't hit you just from here. Okay, well, that's just turned on. Really, we can't do too much more. Like maybe, just maybe Peach could have lobbed something, but there's our peekaboo with his creepy pumpkin head. Oh no, that's a bouncer again. I keep on getting it mixed up. Are you gonna be frozen? You're not, so that's good. Bouncer's actually significantly less scary. 205 health, I'm sure he can get some damage in, but that right there, that is what I'm worried about. Luckily, I was worried about them spawning in about halfway, because if they're spawning in at the end, that's really not that big of a deal. I can handle that, because I can just walk past them and land where I need to land. Um, Peach could just hop up here. Yeah, Peach could really just hop up here, then Mario could hop off of Peach. That could be actually very advantageous. So, boom, have you land right here. Peach gets some much needed heals. Mario could go through here. I mean, it'd be better if I just land here and, and not worry about him because I just get farther and, and farther and that's really what we need right now. And we also have a height advantage if we need to deal with anybody in the next lane over. 
and then we can just slide a tackle, or slide a tackle, slide tackle you, Lantern. And I think he actually has a little bit more health left after that. Boom, 110, no way, no way. Yep, okay, he's taken out. So that's really all we can do. The only unfortunate thing is that Peach really isn't in the best of positions. So I could just have her do her protection. It's gonna be split between her and Rabbit Luigi, but which, once again, not a big deal because Rabbit Luigi can heal her, himself and she can heal herself. Where's this guy gonna go? We're gonna speed this up. I'm gonna get some of them are gonna start bouncing off each other soon. Yep, there it is. No, he's not. Interesting, they're being very defensive then. Um. Once again, if I were to get like Rab Luigi, move him here. I really still don't think we can make this jump, but of course we gotta just take a look and find out. Yeah, you just can't. That is just way too huge. It would be awesome if we could, but what's better than that then is to get Peach to jump off of Mario and land about here. We'll only be healing herself, but it's a whole lot better than nothing. Okay, now, Move back to uh, Yoon. No, yep, Oop. yeah, okay. Got myself a little confused there. Now this won't offer me ultimate protection, but it'll be decent protection. And really, what more can we do? Can anybody land anything here? You're out of range. Well, oh, well you could do that. The out of sight, actually no, you can't. Okay, when it comes to Peach though, out of range, out of sight. I mean, I don't think it'd be that bad of an idea if she did this. I really don't think any enemies are gonna get into that range. Mario could do the same thing, but the chances of them getting that far are so low that we could be wasting, because if Hero Sight doesn't activate or do anything to turn you use it, I don't think it, like anything happens. Okay, nice, that's lucky for us, but that only takes one more shot then. Now all these characters are activating their shield, which is intimidating, but at the same time, not really anything I'm worrying about. And finally, whoa, the double bounce, look at them. Okay, Peach is getting a little dire here, but we can we can handle it. So really, I think I want like Rabbit Luigi. I want Rabbit Luigi to end up being where Mario is basically. But if I can't, then I guess here. I'm gonna keep Rabbit Luigi behind for now. Maybe do a bit of cleanup duty because he could blast him. Fifty percent chance. Let's try it. Oh, nice end of criticals. That guy's out of the picture for at least a little bit. So I want Peach to hop off of Mario and land about, uh, this ain't too bad right here. Let's do, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Before we worry about blasting anybody, I am gonna just go down here. And, uh, I don't know why she's saying ow. I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, let's wait here. And then we have a couple of options. And I think our best option would be to uh, see if we can't blast that guy with Peach. Like if we were Peach right here, we cannot. No, no, we can. The thing is, is it's a waste. It is pretty much a waste. Mario can activate this thumb. And it's just like, you know, getting, it, getting rid of their shields is something we need to do eventually if we want to get rid of them. So we might as well. And then Rabbit Luigi can't do much, so we're just gonna blast you like this. And then next turn, if this guy moves, we got him. So end of the turn, we're doing pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about at this point is that we did have a slow start, which could mean, oh, that stinks. I thought we could maybe finish it off there. Which could mean we actually don't do this in the turn amount that we need. And that could be a big worry you missed. <laughs> All right, so Rabbit Luigi got a little beat up there, which is a shame. We're just gonna make him go slow. Because how far off are we if we uh, switch to a different character? And, oh wow, Peach can't reach him. Oh, that changes up a lot of what I planned on doing here. Hmm. All right, then we can have Peach go up here and like hide somewhere like this. That's my best bet. That is definitely my best bet, is for them to ma match up somewhere better. Because Mario will have to backtrack, but then he can bounce off of Peach and simply land over here, and, and that is really good, because then he can just go ahead and blast one of these guys. And that's just one less for us to deal with. Boom, and the next turn, he could probably go and win. 
So let's go ahead and damage boost. Okay, it's not worth damage boosting just myself unless, because I can just take this guy out. Boom. Maybe that was a waste of damage actually because who else could land something here? Because yeah, I could have taken him out with Rabbit Luigi and then focused on blasting this guy with uh, Mario. So that was that was a bit of a mistake. But uh, Rabbit Luigi can do something, right? You know, some damage, that's good. Boom, 64 damage is pretty good. Now this guy doesn't have any block. And Peach can't hit him, but I think we're good. Enemy turn. And there really isn't anybody else popping up, so I think we've won. I don't see like how we really can't win here. Can Peach, Peach can't reach Mario from here. I'll have Peach go here. We'll have, uh, Mario, can you just, oh, you can, okay, we won, we won, we won. Did we perfect, though? I don't know, I don't know, I'm a little worried about this, dude. Oh, look at that, perfect, yeah, perfectly perfect, 10 out of 10, perfect, 10 out of 10. Um, what, where are we going? Is this like some kind of fortune teller? It is, you're on doomed, doom! It's MME Boastella, or me Boastella? Me Boastella, I don't know. Uh, you're on doomed, doomed! Why? What did we do? We are? Doomed to inferior fortune telling uh, and outrageous prices if you see someone besides Madame Boistrella. Oh. Well, thank you, but I prefer to build my house on the solid foundation of science and reason rather than mindless superstition. So you don't want to know where to find the last relic? Uh, oh, uh, oh, one fortune, please. <laughs> How a garden, or uh, our? Over the gardens? Over the, like over. Over the gardens, under the mountains. The item you seek is in the fountain. Can we get a hint as to what the, this item is? Even the light of Boastrella's inner eye can't unpenetrate the darkness in every corner of the unknown. <laughs> Mario face palms. But! Watch your, watch where you step, not all is as it seems. Are you thinking about the ground? Does one of us trip or something? Oh no, that was that was that was Beepo. No. <clears throat> well then, I, I think we've wasted enough valuable time on this slide show. We'll go let you get back to separating the slack jawed yokels from the money they saved to buy pickled pig's feet. Good day, madam. You are so sassy. Like there's a lot of angst in your sentences, buddy. You're all doomed! Doomed! Doom. Okay, so, first off, we gotta get ourselves this. You know, I feel pretty refreshed. We got our fortune of doom. But, uh... I hear a pinball machine, and now I really wanna play pinball. Let me in. But why is that one the fun one, and that's the one we can't go in? All these other ones are empty and boring. Okay, what about this? Now that this one's uh, full of fun, right? I don't know. Let's go down this way. It looks like there's nothing else we can find here. Nothing else to see here, folks. Get the mushroom. I actually didn't need that too much. I'm happy with that. So we're not done this uh, level just yet. Okay, good to keep in mind. Hmm. Let's uh, try to figure this out. We got you, <laughs> hey. Uh, showing a live rabbit on your tarot card means chaos, destruction, laughter, and giant toots are in your future. Well, I mean, that's exactly what's been happening to us. I guess that's the tarot card we pulled. Ooh, I see you secret. I see you secret. Ooh, where are we going, where are we going? Mm -hmm, where are we going? We're going way over here. Holy cow, this is like the longest pipe we've ever been in. This is insane. Okay, giant puzzle. I haven't learned how to, oh. Something we don't know how to do. Okay, well, we'll have to come back. No, <laughs> which might take us a couple years with how long this pipe is, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. Gotta make sure you get all the cool customizables. Can we do anything about this bucket? No, it's just hanging here ominously. Let's go down this way then. Just trying to see if there's anything I can avoid missing. Nope, okay, time for the next battle. Oh gosh, I already see smashers. We're gonna defeat eight enemies. Are there even eight enemies available? Uh. Let's prepare for battle really quick. Let me get a good idea. We got a smasher here, which of course, could get right up in our faces if we're not careful. Same thing with this smasher. And apparently, is that all on screen? Well, no, no, no. There is a another smasher and a peekaboo up here. Well, then that's really it. Yeah, yeah, that's all that's showing up on my screen. So, 
Four to take you out right away. Let's fight. How do I want to do this? Hmm. Because what we could do is we could worry about these guys first and foremost. Because I could damage boost everybody here. I could get Peach to sort of blast the both of them. And then let's, acti let's activate her thingamajig. And then maybe we should get her to land somewhere better than this because she could slide tackle this guy. Can she slide tackle more than one? She can't. So I'll have her do that, land about here, and this should bring both of them over, right? So that would be good. Boom. Jump off of Mario, land there, and heal herself, which she didn't really need, but I, um, and then do this. I think this would be good because she could Boom, do that, get a critical which freezes them. One of them's gonna move so she can blast again. And that's gonna take all that one, but not the other. He's gonna get mad and smash her, but that's okay. Oh, that's actually vamp damage. I don't know how good that is. Um, hmm. Well, first and foremost, Mario could literally just finish this guy off like this and then land like here. Unfortunately, Princess Peach is in the least safe place. Oh, but that did clear her freeze. Good, good, good. I keep forgetting about that. We gotta keep remembering to do team jumps. So now Rabbit Luigi's an interesting spot where he hasn't done anything. So we could have him hide like, I think this is probably the most protective spot he could be in. Let's see if he can actually get anything done with these guys over here. He could land this and it would not hit the Smasher. That might be pretty good then. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Ready? Ooh, catch! Ooh, 82 damage is okay. And that's a peekaboo, so they're not gonna be able to heal. So we took care of two of the uh, two out of the eight we need. Four out right now. Smasher's gonna inch closer, but nothing menacing. The only thing is that I don't know when the rest of these enemies are gonna start popping up. Poor Princess Peach can't catch a break. Oh, here they come. So I think Rabbit and Luigi, oh, if they were just a bit closer, that would be much easier. Hmm. Well, Peach could land about here and protect everybody as much as she can. Boom. Then she can activate this just to get some extra protection. I don't know really who this will benefit more, Rabbit Luigi or Peach. And then maybe Rabbit Luigi could move here now. Can't do too much, I don't know. Oof, hard to say, hard to say. I mean, actually, no, let's do this, let's do this. That way, Mario can now run over, oh no, he can't reach, why does that happen to me so much? Why does that happen to me so much? I really just need to extend the reach, but I don't have any orbs right now anyways, so. Let's get Mario to activate this. We're gonna have him just simply run over here, I guess? I don't know. I mean, we could just do this. And then, oh man, if this doesn't take him out though, we are in bad straits. Well, let's try blasting him like this. Oh, and he got stoned. Ooh, ooh, that's actually really good for us. Oh yeah, and I forgot that she hasn't made her move yet. All right, then, and this won't hit Rabbit Luigi, but it might destroy his protection, which is bad. But we will take care of the Smasher, and it did not destroy it, so that's good. We can't even finish him off still though, that's insane. One tough smasher right here. Next turn though, definitely. No use in weakening him. We might as well protect against super because I think Rabbit Luigi will be the one most vulnerable to stuff right now. More smashers popping up. I really need to take care of that peekaboon because they will be able to do vamp damage. Ooh, Mario. Oh, I regret activating this. This is just bad luck. Bad luck. He's gonna move closer. Luckily, that's really the extent of it. Where's the peekaboo gonna go? Actually, not bad. I could make something happen there. Ooh. Okay. That guy's popping up way over there. And first off, we could slide tackle Yoon. And that would finish him off. Slide tackle this guy. And then like wait around. I gotta wait around somewhere protective, right? And then run, run back here. <laughs> run away. So any health he just lost is good for us. And now. The big thing about this, I think that now that he is vamped, anybody who attacks his Smasher is gonna get some health back. So definitely I want her to be able to attack them. 
Just how is the best way to do that? The big question. I think probably sitting here and then blasting them. I should have had her slide tackle them. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I could have Mario Lee slide tackle one of them. Bounce off of you, land off this guy. And then I guess like land about here. He still has a 100% chance shot on one of them like this. So that's not too bad. And it's very protective of the other ones. It's just Peach is gonna get such a beating here and I feel so bad. See, he did get health back there. Not a lot, but a percentage. So let's move back to uh, Peach here. This is the guy that's vamped. So we wanna make sure he takes as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, that's still just gonna be this. And the scarier thing is that, mm, how do I wanna do this then? Luigi has, I'm a rabbit Luigi hasn't attacked yet. He could reduce the damage of that one and that might help. I think we just need to uh, smack these guys as hard as I can, maybe get a critical. No critical, ooh, that's gonna make it tough. Oh, she's gonna get 30 health back but lose so much more. Oh no. Was that enough to finish her off? It wasn't actually. So we can finish you off. Critical, why, where was that critical before? Oh, every time with the critical. I never get it when I need it. That's out of sight? No, 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 no. She actually might get taken out here because of malarkey. Um, and now I regret putting him in good defense because even the risk of, <sighs> she's gonna get taken out here. That stinks, that really stinks. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go ahead and restart. That is so unfair, he, he can totally see from there. Ugh, no, I wanna re game. What is wrong with you? Restart, there. <laughs> Everything was going just fine before that turn. So if I can just keep that in mind, we can have Rabbit Luigi definitely just, first off, hurt these two dudes. Well, we should do any kind of preliminary thing, right? So Mario should damage boost everybody. We should have, uh, well last time I didn't even need that. I just had Peach go here. And I mean, it is a nice little extra bit of insurance just to have uh, Rabbit Luigi do that and then maybe he could just get out of here and hide somewhere and maybe here and I don't know if that's gonna be good, but an extra 110 damage is insane. That's a lot of damage. And then um, have Peach move here, just like last time. And then hitting them twice, it'll just be so super good. So let's go ahead and do this. The problem is it just won't hurt that guy back there too much. I don't know, I think we just had to try it. So, boom. I just wish Rabbit Luigi had this. And they're gonna move again and then she can hit him again. Please crit. Yeah, it was a critical. It still wasn't enough to take him out though. That's insane. That is definitely insane, 105 damage. Eesh. Okay, um. And then we could just do this. Once again, Peach is in a bad situation. I don't know, just because she's a tank, you know, you would think she'd afford to be able to do that, but obviously these characters just deal so much, so much damage all the time. So that's really all we can really do. I mean, I could, once again, do this. And we might as well make the most of it, or if we are damage boosted, get whatever damage we can out. That seems like a no-brainer. So where's the Smasher gonna move? Nowhere crazy, he's just gonna go through this pipe. And then we got, of course, this guy. We need to take care of this guy sooner, I think, because I think he's terrorizing us more than we're giving him credit for. So first off, I think we just wanna have Peach land like, I mean, really, she's the only one who needs heals, so let's bring her back here and boom, heal herself a little bit. 60 health is a lot of health. I mean, of course, they're doing even more than that, but still a lot of health. It's Luigi, Rabbit Luigi here. I need you to maybe move back here, or maybe to like over here. Can Mario run out that far? I sure hope so. Let's see, how, how far can Mario move? To here. Okay, not as, you know, nice, but we'll make what we can of it. So it was right here. I mean, maybe I'm, I'm looking at this wrong and I really shouldn't be going at it like this because we can hit him from there. And not so much for Mario. If I jump off of him, I can land up here though and that changes a lot of stuff. So let's try this. 
Boom, I just really wanna take care of him because him bouncing around and being in positions that aren't gonna help us, it ain't good. So boom, hit you like that. And then I might even give him his hero sight, but I just, I don't trust that there aren't too many enemies that will be in this range. I mean, maybe they will be, and I'm gonna be surprised by it, so we'll give it a shot. And Rabidouichi actually hasn't attacked yet, but there's nobody in range to attack, so maybe there are cats moving around and scaring me. Wasn't ready for that. Uh, let's uh do this. Okay, well, that's a lot of smashers. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea there. But that did vamp him. He's gonna go through the pipe, but he can't get that far, right? Yeah, he can't get that far, that's good. What are you guys doing? Moving around, all around. Okay, so we just got a bunch of smashers to deal with and more coming, probably. I will have Luigi, I guess, move back here. Mario's sort of on his own right now, but I think he'd figure it out. He's a, he's a grown up, he's a grown up, he's a big boy. Maybe I should have had uh, Mario do some stuff, but I mean, really, he could take care of this smasher, no problem. I think that's not even a big deal. Like, I, I might even have him do this first. The problem is that this guy definitely could. Oh, actually, yeah, he can. Hmm. All right, Marion. I could do that, and then maybe just have him in it. Like, where could he stand? Anywhere? I guess not. So I guess I'll just have him finish back off where he started. The problem is that whatever's here is gonna be right in front of Mario's face. So maybe I shouldn't worry about the Smasher right now. Maybe that's my big ticket, It's just stop worrying about the dang Smasher. So boom, we can take him out next turn. Don't think he's, he's definitely gonna be able to get to that pipe in time. He would have to turn around to get out of that platform by this turn. We could hit the both of these guys. Well, no, actually we can't. Who's up here? Nobody who spawned in just yet. Mario has full health, so really we're just worrying about Peach here. I'm just gonna have her do this. Honestly, her having some heals is pretty important right now. So we'll do that. She really doesn't have many opportunities beyond that. She could throw her ducky. Let's let her get, let's let her throw her ducky. Boom. Okay. I mean, maybe it's a bad idea to get this guy to move closer, but he actually sort of moved the wrong way. So I'm not really too opposed to that because now we could blast him and he has to move all the way back around here. Boom, 100 damage. He's mad again, he's moving back over here. And this is a problem where and I think we just want to lower this guy's health. Because if we go to, once again, go to the Tacticam, he can go over there and just hit Rabbit Luigi or Mario. But once again, both those guys are grown up, so they can handle it. So maybe we should just end it with that. I mean, we're playing very passively, but with so many smashers, what more can we do? This is just a lot. It's a whole lot to deal with. Huh. Oh geez, not the power up, not the power up. Please, not the power up. 162 damage, he's gonna get some health back for it too. Luckily, he didn't get the power up though. That's just so much though, still. This guy's gonna teleport around to hit one of us. And it just, it goes so bad so fast. Luckily this guy missed, and it's our turn again. What happened to the smasher that had like two health? He's like way over here. Okay, this is not good. Um, Mario doesn't have too many moves in his arsenal right now. I think his best bet would probably be to, hmm, uh, I don't even know. These guys just make me uncomfortable with how mean they can be. Yeah, I think that, we should just do something like that, land up here. That way they really have to go through a lot to get to us. And it cleared Rabbit Luigi of any ailments he might have. And then before we do anything for sure, we should have Rabbit Luigi dash a couple of them and then get out of here. Like totally just get at them, probably to here. The problem is, isn't there guys up here? No, not quite, okay, good. That's a good thing. Which also means I can get Rabbit Luigi up here. Ooh, that'd be good because he could have height damage. So let's go ahead and get some vampire damage. 110 each, so 220 so far throughout this turn for him. Can finish off him. He can't quite finish off him, but I think that Mario could? Can Mario finish him off? He can't. Hmm. Well, we could still 
try, like, what, what would Peach, what would happen if Peach tried to attack here? It would hit both of them. Then we just have to worry, can this guy, he can't move up close enough to actually do anything beyond that. So Peach could hit these guys, they're both vamped, so it would actually give health back to her tune. So let's give that a shot. Boom, wow, and it was actually a critical, so good stuff. He's gonna move closer, but not enough to do anything. And that's where our main man Mario can step in and either finish him off. I think that instead, we could have, uh, let's have a, uh, hmm, actually, I don't know about that. I'm trying to think about what, uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that was wrong, especially since it was a critical, that could have been something more useful. I'll get this ready, that that was a waste. That was definitely a waste. Mario could blast this guy, but would it be worth it? It would only be worth it if, you know, we hit this 40% bounce chance, but it's 40%, not, you know, 60 or 70 or 80 or 100. So I think we're just gonna hold off. He can't make his way over here even if he tries. The only thing we can really worry about now is the boot. Mario definitely took a beating. He's at 180 health. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. Okay, yeah, not too much actually happened there of note. So really, I think our best bet would be to do that, go like this, land here. Because that way it's safer, because he would have to ha walk around to get us. And only the similar thing could be said about Mario now. Um, Let's get all these coins. I don't want to slide tackle him actually because then I can't land on him. But I could land on him and then land about here. I mean, it's not the best place. Maybe I should go back here. Rabbit Luigi can't do too much here. I don't think. Maybe if we had Mario actually land on the right side there because Rabbit Luigi can go through this pipe and then land about here. And that's okay. That's not too bad. There's still that other smasher that's like pretty low on health. I'm not really too worried about that one though. I think we'll have Mario damage boost because none of us have attacked, so we could really make a lot happen here. I can't finish him off though, which is the most unfortunate thing. Like maybe Peach could? No, no. We really need to get a better upgrade for that ducky. It's just we haven't got it yet. Let's just blast him like that, I guess. It really bums me out that that might be the best we can do. Um, I don't wanna do that because that's obviously gonna hit Mario. We could do that, let's just do that. Throw the ducky over. And then, uh, Rabbit Luigi can hit that other smasher that's pretty low on health already. I don't think he'll be able to make his way over here, but we might even get lucky and get a critical for the 120, which should finish him off. So we only have like one more character to take out. Yes, one more character. We'll not activate that, instead we'll activate this. That way, everybody's losing a little less health here depending on what this guy does. And honestly, he might play it protectively. He is going to miss. That's better for us, so I'm not gonna complain. How do we wanna handle this then? Hmm. Well, I think that maybe Peach should just run out here Honestly, I actually think there's no way for us to win this turn. How far can Mario run? Actually, he can't even run that far. So, let's get him to run to here. This was sloppy of me. Sloppy, if not anything else. Oh, wow, that actually might hit him though. Let's definitely activate this. Mario time. Mario time. And if Rabluigi could reach him, how far can he get? He could get here. And I mean, maybe here this would be like a 50% chance no matter what, so whatever. Next turn, right? <laughs> Attack him, see if he can't land it. He can, and it's a critical. So he's stuck there no matter what, and we can weaken him. And then Peach can't do much of this turn, but Mario, he might get lucky, he might end. It's a 50-50 chance, and I, can't, I was gonna say shot, and then I said chance instead, and it just came into like a weird word. Okay, we just won, we just won. The problem is that that took seven turns. It's a lot of turns. Mario could just go here and hammer him. That's what we're gonna do. Make it a big hammer finale. And, bada bing, bada squish. Nice. Okay, so we won. But did we perfect? We got, we were in good health and we actually were one turn under the par there, so good. Perfect stuff.
and we finished that level. But still, that was really, I think we only did one level so far today's episode, maybe we did Toon. I can't remember to be honest. I think it was Toon. Two levels, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> They're definitely getting longer, we got tons of coins, and ooh, what's happening? There, by the fountain, is that a boo or a balloon? A boo balloon. <laughs> oh, fancy. I think that's a balloon. It looks like a boo balloon, I was right. It's missing, it's the missing relic of goodness. Let's bring it back to the pedestal. I see a shortcut down there and past the fountain. Okay, oh, and it will open, or not. Okay, let's go and find it out. Hmm, now is there anything else going on around here? It looked like I saw a red ring, and I was correct, that's indeed what I saw. This thing is so weird. Uh, there's a pipe up here. There's definitely a number of things happening here. Uh, this over here, what is, what is this? What is the purpose of this? Not much as of this moment, you know what it is? I probably should activate the red ring first. Yeah, that's what I had to do. So we gotta pick up all of these, and then I go through that pipe, go over there, and hit the cannon, and I think we'll get it. So let's go ahead and get this first, boom, six, run, run, run over here, and shoot through the cannon. Ha <laughs> ha, seven, and then finally, uh, eight, yeah, we did it, and that's gonna be a golden chest, it will, so new weapon for us, please let it be, Either an Arabaluigi upgrade, or maybe it could be a Peach Ducky. That'd be good. What's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? Mm. I've noticed that we can't get a weapon for, I don't think so, I don't think we can get a weapon for a character, Never mind. That isn't in our party, that's not the case. No pity kitty, scratch and claw your way to victory with this graceful blaster that for some reason gives you sneezing fits. Maybe because Rabbit Peach is allergic to cats, poor thing. Okay, we're going this way now. I saw this big old Boo was like, I am leading the charge now. I am King of Mario and King Boo. Ah, I don't know. Uh, let's, I can't do anything there. And maybe at some point I can, I, I could. Oh, I see, yeah, that's an easy puzzle. This is this baby stuff. We did this in World One. We were still babies. Give me this, and that's gonna be a Wheel Fatality. I still don't understand these tarot cards. I'm guessing they're just another fancy thing to look at at the gallery. So I'm not really sweating it too much. I mean, I wanna find all the e secrets and collectibles eventually anyways. Oh, the crows are running away. Ben, man, this, is this really a shortcut or is it a long cut? Because we're taking our time. Oh yeah, and some blocks over here, block on the way, bring us back to the beginning. So this is our second thing. So after this, we should be able to go through those big pearly gates. So now all we're worrying about, and I like how the coins lead you there, just in case you still weren't able to piece it together. Voila, our, our prayers have been answered. Now the moon gate should open wide for us. Ooh. <clears throat> I said, voila, I don't know how to pronounce that for whatever reason. Voila, 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 yeah. It, it was supposed to open, why isn't it open? We did our part, we retrieved the lost relics of goodness. Why isn't it open, it's not fair, why isn't it? Um, something's happening. Oh no. Um, this opens a different door. Oh my. Well then what's that way? Also, some, some people actually point out something I did not realize. Tom fan is phantom, but flipped. You know, fan, Tom, Tom fan. I'm a dingus, I don't know how I didn't notice that, but you guys did, it made me laugh. Great, that's the wrong gate. Maybe there's a hotline we can call or something. Oh, well, looks like our hotline is ringing us. Uh -huh. Our anonymous patron has again picked a, the perfect time to lend a helping hand. Dorks, wow, they're getting mean. Easy to know you're real mean. Dorks, you're probably feeling pretty discouraged right now, now that I blame you. I'd be discouraged if I were you too. Oh, is this gonna be like Bowser Jr. writing us a letter? The moon gate can't be open unless there's a full moon, duh. Too bad it's gone already, lucky for you. I know a way to get it, get it to come back. Just take the totally non-spooky path leading from the gate that just opened and everything will work out just fine and you won't be killed, I promise. Oh, hmm. 
There's something off about that last message, though I can't quite put my finger on it, probably because they don't have fingers. Perhaps there was a more to Madame Blastrella's fortune than she let on. Perhaps someone else is planning to harm us and our en enig 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 enigmatic ally is as in the dark as we are. Okay. To the gate! <laughs> it's all philosophy, right? Well, we're going in the 3-5, introducing El Calaveran. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, what's happening? Um, hey, look at you, it's Rabbit Yoshi! Oh, oh no, oh no. Who are you? You're not Rabbit Yoshi. You are scary, oh! Wow! <laughs> it is Calavera, shade behind the shield. This guy's creepy. Uh, defeat mid-boss, so here's our mid-boss sneaking up on us, I wasn't ready for that, which is pretty cool. So, he just creeped out of the well. So what do we got here? Let's prepare for battle, we got a lot to do. First, we should check out the competition. We have a Spooky Smasher, two Spooky Peekaboos, and then of course the mid-boss himself, Calavera. He has 1,100 health, uh, burping, sorry. <laughs> Four cells of movement, repels opponents with Scaredy Hero, green, or gran Grenade Duck, um, which is 100 damage, that's not too much, but it has push, and then p Buckle Cover, Portable Cover. Hmm, yeah, he has that, so we're gonna have to sneak behind him a little bit. That's gonna make it challenging. I wonder if he can teleport around like the uh, Peekaboos can. Either way, we're gonna go to Battle HQ because we do have some upgrades that we can make some use out of. I just don't know if there's really anything we want to upgrade right now. That's the hard part, every time. Because we could upgrade to this, but is that really much of an upgrade? No, it's not. And same thing here, nothing to upgrade to. Uh, as Peach, that's worth it if there were any Valkyries. Uh, the cover damage is higher, but once again, it's burn damage. I just don't like burn damage. Hmm, really, there's not too much I can do then. I mean, I like the team I have, unless we wanna start, I don't know, my team's working, so I don't really wanna mess with that formula too much. Okay, Peach has 95 things now, so we could go ahead and upgrade her heal. I just don't know if she needs it at this point. I mean, we could upgrade her dash. Ooh, I'll just upgrade her heal so it's maximum. We never have to worry about it again. Um, now Mario has 25 points. Same thing with Rabbit Luigi. We could just go ahead, we should just max out his damage. That would be so good. Like 160 damage per dash is insane. So let's just keep with that. I can see why you guys are saying he's OP. Um, we could work on maybe increasing Mario's dash damage as well. Even though he only has one. So like I almost want to focus on other things. Okay, well, uh, no matter what, that's the best we can do. We don't have really any weapons that are better that we could upgrade to at the moment. So, we should fight, yeah. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, I won't lie. Hmm, maybe we could get, I know it seems a little bit crazy, but maybe we could activate this. Like maybe this is very aggressive, but if we could take care of those smashers right away, that'd be really good. So we can have her land like right here, right in front of the smasher. I mean, maybe that's silly, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get Mario to run up. I'm gonna have him land on like this dude, and that almost takes him out just straight up. And then I can just have him like here and attack the smasher. Peach can attack both the smasher and hopefully this guy. I mean, maybe I should've made Mario move a little bit farther away then but I want him to attack Yoon, just like that, and then boom, he's gonna start moving, and that's when Peach can attack, and hopefully not blast Mario, at least not too bad. Boom, it actually doesn't hit Mario at all, that is perfect, but wow, he still survived that, huh? Okay, that's a bit surprising. Um, The only thing is now Mario has his back turned towards, uh, you know who? Is that really worth doing? I mean, I guess he can't reach anything else, so I guess have him here, why not? I mean, the peekaboos are most likely just gonna run away anyway, so do this. And from here, can Rabid Luigi, who can he damage reduce? He can damage reduce both of these guys, which is really good, because that means his first turn where he is probably going to attack Mario from the back, it won't hurt too bad, and that's a critical. All right, well, I think we've used just about everything we can. Oh yeah, I totally forgot we had this. Let's do this then. That might even finish him off if we get a lucky crit. 
It will, yes! That's actually gonna put us way ahead. There are now no more enemies to deal with. Great. So we'll fast forward to this. He has 1,100 health. This is gonna hurt. 70 damage. Actually, ain't too bad. Um, First off, pick up coins. Pick up as many coins as I can. And then... Hmm. I'm gonna sneak Rabbit Luigi because he can't reach her or him or it. So I'm gonna have him go here and, and maybe Mario could reach that. Oh, he can't quite. How far can Mario run from here? I mean, if I did that, definitely it would work. So let's get a uh, Peach here. If that's the farther she can go. Well, no, she can go farther. And let's just get her here then. She ain't healing too much like this, but that's okay. <laughs> and then Mario, I'm gonna get you over there and have you land behind this dude for sure. I mean, this right here, this is 100% as well. Let's do that then. Boom, 150 damage, that is so good. Okay, let's get this ready just in case we need it. And then Maybe we should've just gotten closer and done the hammer, I don't know. But for now we have this, maybe next turn hammer. That'd be good. Can Luigi move yet? He's already moved, so we don't wanna worry about that too much. I could do this, it won't hit Mario, and that's good. Boom. 60 damage there. And we're just gonna have to chip away at his health for now until uh, maybe the situation improves. So we wanna go ahead and throw him this grenade. Or grenade duck, grenade duck. I've never known how to pronounce that, I probably never will. But let's finish it with that. We're all pretty much healthy. Mario is gonna take the biggest hit again, but nobody else can, ooh, that hurt. Nobody else can hit us right now. Okay, I think our best bet is, ooh, Mario's gonna smack him. Will this do any damage? It will, it'll actually bounce, and that's really good, because I was about to suggest that what we should do is go ahead and vamp this dude. So he's just gonna sit there, right? Nice, this, is, this could be potentially awesome. So what we wanna do now, it's like I said, I'm first gonna have Rabbit Luigi just vamp him, and then maybe we could have Rabbit Luigi hide somewhere more strategic, like here. Let's see, can Mario maybe hop off of that? Where's Mario at, and what can he do? Not too much, actually. So I think that no matter what, he's not gonna be able to get over to him and bounce off of him. I really don't think so, but we could try it, because from here, we can't hit anything. From here, we can't hit anything either. But we might as well run off this way. Because if even if it's just chancing it, Mario could maybe hop off of Peach and land way off. Oh, not quite, once again, not quite. Ooh, I wish right here, this isn't close enough for a hammer, but we could try it. Because he's vamped, once again, he is vamped. So if we hit him really good, oh, man, I don't like how that works, why is it? Like that, maybe because of this bunny in the way? I don't know, but this will still, it was a bad choice overall, I'm not gonna deny. Definitely a bad choice, but we get some health back for it. We can't do that, and Peach can't really do too much now because she'll just hit Mario, so bad turn, I will agree, bad turn. Good turn followed by a bad turn, though. Now we got these guys popping up, wah! Okay, so he can do that. What about these guys? Did these guys get the move the same day they spawn in? Or the same round, I think. Wow, what was that about? So he squeezed Yoshi and Yoshi pooped out a bomb. Or rabbit Yoshi, oh gosh. Oh gosh, this could actually be bad depending on what he does. Um, no, come on. Okay, I'm gonna restart then. We were doing so well, that is so unfair. And I mean, I guess I messed it up, it's my fault, but come on. Okay, so we're just doing what we did last time. We're gonna have her and trigger this and then have Mario attack the Smasher. Like this. Um, no, I'm doing the wrong thing. And this should definitely, if it does it this, oh no, it's gonna mess this up. This isn't the way I was supposed to do it, but there was a critical, this is why I hate bounce. Because it's, you know, if it was honey, it's like, I mean, I guess it would make it, I don't know though, would it really? Make it worse or better or anything? I don't really think so. Um. I'll have Rabbit Luigi land here, and, and this is just not what I wanted at all, though, because while we took care of two characters, that's great, we won't be able to take care of this third one, probably without hurting Mario. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's worth taking that risk? I don't know. And then we can have, we can make his attacks weaker this turn. 
And then, which one's gonna hurt more? That will hurt more, so we should just go ahead and do this. I mean, then I won't have the duck for next turn, but I guess it's better than nothing. All right, well, your turn now. So now we just need to pay attention to our positioning. It will literally change everything. Speaking of what she's positioning us for us. Okay, well, pick up all these coins, all of them, every single one of them. I need more coins so I can upgrade my weapons whenever I get more weapons. I don't know, I definitely need to, uh, after, soon after we complete this world, we gotta go and get more weapons in any way we can. I'll get, first off, can I get, I can't. I just need to get closer to the guy, but that's really tough to do. Hmm. First off, let's maybe get Mario like here. Yeah, he's far away, but as long as we can like sort of recoup a bit, that's not that bad of an idea. Well, if that's the idea we wanna go with, I mean, I can keep Rabbit Luigi there. He is at full health. He'll make his own opportunities. And that brings Mario pretty much closer, a good amount closer to full health. And then from here, that's 100% landing if we do the bazooka, but anywhere that's gonna be the case. So we might as well just do it. First shot landed on this guy. Definitely not, I feel like it's still not going as well as last time did, but we messed up last time. So how much of that, how far did that get me? Got Mario taken off pretty quick, that's what it did. So yeah, he just spits out a grenade. So definitely confirms that at least Rabid Yoshi is gonna be a grenade based character. Hmm. Let's get on um, Peach out as far as she can go. Which really, this isn't any much different. I'll just get her hiding here. Mario should be able to go out just, just about as far. Yep. I don't know if it's a good idea because once again, he's low on health. Maybe we could have him here. That shouldn't be too bad. And then, Luigi. Can Luigi, Rabbit Luigi still can't run out here and, and get this done. Come on, dude. You gotta get something done sooner or later, right? So she's he's blocking off against him. We can get the duck over. Let's do it. Not a ton of damage, but it's gonna make us a little bit closer getting done what we want done. Mario can't hit him. But he can activate this. I'm sure that's actually gonna be used. If this continues the way, I think it's going to, but we'll have to see. Because we get two peekaboos, which isn't that big of a deal as long as they don't have too much shenanigans. That's 100 damage, that is a lot of damage. I don't know why I'm like scoffing at 100, like, oh, that's not too much. It's a good amount, and they get vampire. I mean, they already had full health. Where's this guy gonna go? Here, and not too much after that, except for hitting him, so I guess that is a lot. Okay, Mario, my main man, you're over here now. You can just slide attack him just to get started on something, because we aren't really getting too much done right now. And then, He's facing which way? He's facing that way, so if we did hide here, and I wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. Rabbit Luigi is still too far off for that, so I think what's better is if we just land here. Because I don't know if Peach can run over from there. Maybe that's something I should have considered a little bit more. Because if Peach can, she cannot. So I guess she should just hide here too. Like, I mean, she could actually just do this and then Heal the both of these two, and that'll be good. And then, uh, she can't do too much, but Mario can. No, cause he, how? I don't see how that's the case, but okay. Whatever you say. All right, Luigi, finish this one off. It's something. Once again, hitting criticals when I don't really need you to, but critical now, critical later, what's the matter? So we have a Ziggy popping up. Once again, the Ziggy's aren't too big of a deal. I just really hate how that ruins our uh, situation. I feel like we might need a sniper. Like if we lose this one too, I might have to like reconfigure my setup. Maybe we could go back to a Mario, Luigi, Rabbit, Peach setup. Like that could be better. I'm not really sure though. Ouch, that hurt. Rude dude. Rude dude with the poor attitude. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. How did that hit him? I don't understand. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But I can go like this. 
It's just we're not having any opportunities to actually hit the characters we need to hit. So that's just not fun. Because we can chuck the ducky over. And I'll hit both of them. And I'll hit the, the more important one to hit in this situation, so that's good. Mario can't do too much more beyond just walking up to him and hoping he can hit him. Has Rabbit Luigi moved? He has moved. Ugh, this is not turning out well. Like, not at all. We just have to hope we can hit him as Mario. The hammer won't do anything. Just hit him, please hit him, please hit him. Mario, come on! Of course, of course, the only time I need him to hit him, he's not gonna hit him because that would be too easy. Just lose the chance, don't lose the actual strategy. <sighs> this is tough. And of course he lands. Cause it's like, we could barely, it's like, uh, taking care of all these enemies, I could do this all day, but the other, the problem is that not these guys, but the boss keeps being really defensive. I just don't know how to work around it. And the only time we did, we got caught up by the guys I wasn't expecting. So maybe that's the problem. All right, well. Let's do this. And then. Where can Mario move? I mean, definitely not far enough to deal with you, right? I don't think. But we could have like Peach there. And Actually, not really. Um. Hmm. Well, then maybe we'll just have Mario here. And, like, we can sit here and we can inch along, but he's just gonna keep scaring us away, so we really just need the sniper, I think. But we're gonna keep trying for this one, and hopefully something works. I <laughs> like how Robin Luigi's face is just crammed in the corner there. Hey, guys. Let's get you here. And they both need healing, so I'm just gonna hope that this is a smart place to land, but probably won't be. She doesn't have the ducking. I don't think this will come useful, but we just have to try it. And he's gonna be once again in the perfect positioning for not too much bad stuff to happen to him. We can damage him a little bit more, maybe it'll do 50, that'd be good. We'll only have to hit him, you know, 20 times. We keep doing 50 damage each. All right, so we'll do Super Barrier and hope we, you know, it, we would, if we get critted, it's by, uh, like, I mean, they try to crit Rabbit Luigi and then he can be uh, protected by it. Wow. Okay. And we just can't get to the guy. It's super tough. And the rest of these dudes are gonna move and I'm gonna have to focus on them or they'll take me out because they have vamp damage too. Because from there you can hit Peach. Insane. I need to change this because this just is not gonna work with our setup. Every other level did, but not this one. At best, what I wanna do here is I want to jump off this dude and it's like, right now he's facing this way, but wasn't he facing the other way before? I don't understand. Well, I'll try this and see, won't he turn around? He doesn't this time. I swear he turned la around last time. I could damage boost, but does she have ducky? She does have ducky. It almost won't hurt to throw the ducky that way. So yeah, let's damage boost. Mario time, time. woohoo. And then can Rab Luigi reach them? No, he can't. Okay. Have you go like here. <laughs> it won't really do too much, but I think it's still good to do. Maybe, question mark? I mean, I could do this. I wish he had double team jump. Why is Luigi so far the only one with double team jump? I hope another character has that soon. This will reach to everybody but that character, which sort of still sinks, but it's what we got. It's what we're dealing with. I could try to blast you. Chances are I'm not going to actually guaranteed. I won't. But once again, we're not focused on that. We're gonna throw that towards him. Just like that. Bouncing and bouncing. And then we're just gonna blast him with what we have. I think we're still gonna get hit here. And the hammer won't do anything. The hammer's always one space away. Cats are meowing in the background. I don't know, there's a lot of cats going on in today's episode. And that's all we can do. Let's just hope this isn't too bad. That's not too bad unless he attacks Peach. He actually didn't. 
Cat, I'm not petting you right now. I'm playing the most intense game of Mario and Rabbids of all time. Ah, oh, I hate this game. I hate this game so much right now. I, I like it in general, but right now it is such a pain in the booty and I just do not appreciate it in any way, shape, or form. It's so frustrating sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to like denounce the game because it's a fun game, but like, come on, give me a chance to do something. Because all I wanted to do was slide tackle him so we could vamp damage him for once in our life. I mean, I guess I could have Rabbit Luigi here and that way he can just use the bazooka again. And while I wanna get Peach in a position where she can damage, she needs to be able to heal and she can't heal from here, so she needs to heal from there. And no enemies are spawning in just yet, but next turn I think that's gonna be the case. So let's just go ahead and do this. Will this hurt Rabbit Luigi? It does. Well, that that's not a good trade. Um, we're all so low on health. Oh my gosh. This guy is stinky. He's a stinky bunt. It's gonna hit all three of them too. He didn't scare him away though, which I really appreciate because we could actually get something done. Okay, good. Get you here. This actually could be a very good turn for us because that's right there, that's 110 damage. Just straight up, right away. We're gonna get Mario. Mario can't go that far, so. Oof, 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 oof. Choices, healing or damage. We need the healing, but we need the damage. Um. We'll get. Mm, I don't know. We'll just have Peach here. Trying to think, it's, it's really tough to decide. Because the thing is, she could do this, but of course it's gonna damage you know who. We don't want that. Um, We could do this, and then we could try landing here. It could be all kinds of bad though. We have to brace ourselves for that. Chances are we're still gonna get taken out here. I think that it's almost guaranteed that we're still gonna get taken out, or at least one or some of our characters are. So we might just have to take it as a not perfect. But I'm gonna blast him, I wanna make him hurt. If we're, if we're gonna lose some health or some characters, so is he. Boom, hitting you with this. That was a critical too, so chances are high we could actually make something happen here. Oof. Would this finish him off? It actually would not hurt him at all. This would hurt him, but not take him out. Unless we get a lucky critical. And it would also hurt her. So what's smarter is that we do damage reduction on everybody. Make sure that Mario, ha if he, if Mario has his hero sight, which he does not, finish the turn. And his hope, 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 hope. Yes, yes, we just won, we just won, we just won. Cause we can just boom, boom. Boom, perfect baby, we won, we won perfect. Mmm, mamma mia, that's so good, it's like a taste of pizza pie. That's kinda good we got, oh. Is he done? Yes, you see ya, get out of here, go back down to the well. <laughs> get him good, Rabbit Luigi, or Rabbit the Ocean, you're both green, sorry. Uh, he's having fun. Phew, welcome to our ragtag alliance. He seems to be happy to be here. And <laughs> He's not done. Anyone who wishes to aid in our quest to make the Mushroom Kingdom whole again is gladly received. Awesome. No! We were supposed to do that in five turns? No! I'm going to the baloney company and registering this game as an official product. Because it's baloney. 4,000 coins, thank you. I don't have any weapons to use them on. Rabbit Yoshi, half rabbit, half Yoshi, all menace, opens the skill tree and get him ready to rumble. New weapons in stock, there are new weapons available for purchase at the Battle HQ. Finally, we'll check those out and hopefully be a lot less rage filled in the next episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Yoshi so I know you've watched it in the video and you are a Zebratastic viewer. Want to see more videos? Feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.